what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? Steph Curry with the shot just signed a five-year, $201 million deal with the Golden State Warriors. The reason why I said he don't deserve it is because he deserves more. Get a man $400 million. Real talk. The dude is easily one of the top dudes in the game, period. I don't know how you're going to come up with that kind of money, but hell, you came up with $200 million. It's got to be four hundred million laying around somewhere. I mean, in the last three years, the dude has led the Golden State Warriors to 207 regular season victories. In that same stretch, they've been to the finals three times. He's been named the league's MVP twice, including in 2016 when he was the first ever unanimous winner of the MVP. Now, think about that. Think about all the great players that have played in the NBA, and he's the first one to be unanimously named MVP. Even when, with the addition of Kevin Durant this past season, he still remained one of the top players in the game, top all-around players in the game. The dude went from 30.1 points a game to 20, 25.3 points a game. That's still a lot of points. That's still a lot of points in the NBA. In fact, many top teams, their top player don't even score 25 points a game. So that's a lot of points to put up on the scoreboard night in and night out. So I say to Steph, man, congratulations, man. Congratulations to you and your family, man. And, and big shout out to your agent who negotiated the deal. Now, hopefully he ain't one of those agents that's gonna try to rip you off. Watch your money, man, whatever you do. I ain't, it ain't no slight to the agent. I'm just saying. You know, you got to watch your money because there's a lot of slick cats out there that take advantage of athletes and celebrities, period. People with a lot of money, period. This ain't even got nothing to do with being poor or being rich or educated versus uneducated. There's a lot of people just, tr even that have a lot of money that trust, that are a little bit more trusting than they should be. And so... You got to do your due diligence and protect your money. When you make this money, protect your money. And don't just let that money dwindle away. You know, watch your money. Be very careful. And I can tell you this from experience. Anytime you're too busy to count your money, you're going to have some financial issues. And that was a time when I was too busy to count my money. So I'm telling you from experience, count your money yourself. Watch your money very, very closely. Check your bank accounts daily. Wherever your money is, make sure you can lay eyes on it at any time you want. I mean, any time of the day, any hour of the day, make sure you can always lay eyes on your money, man. And touch your money. All of this, I be hearing people, I can't touch my money. Well, you can't get to the money because they'll have a penalty on it or whatever. Okay, let me at least go see. Let me make sure. Let me verify where that money is. I need to verify my money. If I can't, you can't touch your money when you want to touch your money. It ain't your money. If it's your money. You got to be able to touch it. So, step man, get all the money you can. All you other uh, athletes out there, or potential athletes out there, or, uh, aspiring athletes, go get your money. Get all that you can get because these people are out here getting all they can get. And they're going to run your talents in the ground. They're going to suck you, drive your talents. And then when it's over, they're going to act like they don't know you. They're going to stop returning your phone calls. I'm telling you what I know. I'm not telling you what I heard. I've heard people say, well, $200 million to play basketball. That's ridiculous. Well, let me just put it like this, y'all. When it comes to celebrities... There's this thing called performing. And in the entertainment business, the top performers get the most money. They get paid very well. Steph Curry is a top performer. 
So he's going to be properly compensated with numbers that sound very ridiculous to the average person. But if you think about it, those numbers don't sound so ridiculous when you consider what the owners are making. Think about that, y'all. What kind of money these owners are getting from those high-ass concessions where oftentimes you go buy one beer for 10 bucks for just a beer. Some places sell beer for 15 and 18 dollars. Think about that, just some beer that costs like, what, five cents to produce? Think about what I'm saying. The, the food, the money they make off the concessions alone are ridiculous, but think about those ticket prices. Some of those season tickets are costing $20,000, $50,000, $100,000. I said 20, but it, it's no 20s. Uh, but $100,000 and just crazy numbers. The owners, and we're not even getting into merchandise yet. What about merchandise and television deals? The ad revenue that come in from those TV deals and all that stuff. These owners are getting paid buku cash and they can't get none of that money without the players. So don't ever get let people fool you when they start talking about where it shouldn't be about the money. Let me tell you something, man. It's always about the money. If somebody is getting paid off your talents, you should make sure that you are getting paid also and you're being paid well. Make sure you're being co properly compensated because there are people out there that make a living off of saying things like, well, this is for the kids. Oh, well, it shouldn't be about the money. If you really love what you do, you shouldn't care about the money. Yeah, you can love what you do and not care about the money and be living under a bridge. While the same per person that's telling you don't worry about the money it's not always about the money. They're over there living good. Their bills are paid. They living all right. They taking care of their responsibilities, but they want you to do it for free. So no, break the bank, man. Get your money. In fact, it should be a way to go back and get some more of that money from college when they used you up in college, when these college teams were making all of that money. You know how many colleges, I, you know how much money these college teams make off these athletes, these youngsters? And when some of these youngsters can't even afford dinner and these colleges are raking in millions and millions and millions of dollars off of these athletes. And then if something happens to one of them, if they don't get drafted or they get injured, they'll never hear from the college ever again. And they're just stuck out. They out of here. And many of them are left with debilitating injuries. That's going to haunt them for the rest of their life. But all they get is, a, man, you were great in college. Man, you were great. Man, I used to come watch you all the time. Man, what happened? This type of stuff. So, yeah, I say if you're an athlete or whatever you're doing, like, man, get, get your bread up. Now, don't get blinded by the money now. Don't get so blinded where you jump out there and you be like, well, it's all about the money all the time. You know, you have an attitude like, fuck, you pay me. You're going to mess around and fuck yourself. You know what I'm saying? You, sometimes it's, it's possible where if you're, you're so concerned about somebody fucking you, you end up fucking yourself and you end up not getting any kind of deal. So you don't want to be that person because I know a number of people that are like that. And you're never going to hear of, of them. You're never going to hear about them. And some of these people have extreme talents. But because of their inability to, I'm not going to even say trust somebody, but at least take a chance on somebody. They will never be heard from, you know, by mainstream society, you know, or, or, or even, you know, a, a cult society. They, they'll never be, you'll never hear of them, put it like that. So, don't worry about the people that's saying things like you should be doing it for the money or you shouldn't do it for the money and all that stuff. Take care of yourself. Take care of your family. Don't let nobody suck you in like that. Get all you can get. We say, well, teachers, they deserve more money. I mean, in theory, I guess, yeah. 
I mean, these are people that are educating the minds of the youth. Who is the future? Now, that sounds great. It really sounds logical that teach, if anybody should be making $400, about $40 million a year, it should be a teacher. When you think about it, you know, it should be a teacher or somebody that's inventing medicine that saves lives. You know, give them that type of money. I agree. But that's not the world that we live in. That's not our society. Most of us, the vast majority of us, spend way more time at arenas and stadiums than we do at PTA meetings. We are the blame. The fans, the, the fans, in my opinion, is more to blame than the players and the owners. Because if not for the money that we put out there, then they can't earn that kind of money. We ain't buying those expensive seats. If we're not buying that expensive beer and food and jerseys and watching these programs on television where they're making millions of dollars off of advertising and stuff, if we're not doing that, then they can't make that kind of money. So if you want to blame somebody, just like with the rap game, don't blame the rapper. Blame yourself. Blame the fans. Because money talk and bullshit walk. And the fans got the money. If the rappers can't get paid rapping the stuff that they talk about, then they got to talk about something else that the fans want them to talk about. So I can hear people talk all day long about what they don't like about hip hop music or whatever. But until they stop supporting or until they start supporting a certain, certain type of music, nothing's gonna change. So stop blaming the rapper. Stop, stop even blaming the executives, blame yourself. $200 million. Wow, $200 million for five years to play basketball, to do something that I love doing, to do something that people, that millions of people all the world, around the world love doing every day. Just basically running up and down the court exercising. $200 million? Damn, I wish I'd have worked on my jump shot and my handles when I was a kid more. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.